Okay, one thing that's quite interesting is the concept of graphic novels. Now, you can start out with graphic novels as your initial operation. That's what people behind Walking Dead and I think Preacher did. Those projects started out as graphic novels and then grew on to something else. Some of my work, I started out with novels and then we decided to do graphic novels. And that was pretty good. If you're going to do graphic novels, you have to be very careful about who you're working with. Make sure it's somebody that's not going to get bold with their interpretation, their take on it because you have a very definite look, image, perception of the characters, the environment, the conditions, everything. Make sure that they're not going to play with that. I was pretty lucky. For the most part, the graphic novels followed my novels. The descriptions of the characters were consistent with what I had. There was one character that we constantly had to go back and adjust. But a graphic novel really helps give another dimension to your writing. Because when people are reading, it's really great because your descriptions help engage the imagination and it helps them resonate with the character. It helps them connect with the story. It helps them make it their own. Graphic novels does that, taking it one step further. They can see, you know, a one-dimensional character, but they can build on that to make it a three-dimensional character, a three-dimensional setting. That also links them to the story. It helps personalize it. Even if it gets made in into a TV show, a series, a movie, what have you. Now they're seeing a three-dimensional character in a three-dimensional setting, but they get to formulate and establish a connection. Well, what would this person be like if I met them? How would I fit into this situation? How would I participate in this scenario. Having a graphic novel is a good thing, and if you are in a position to do it, give it a shot. It's not easy and it's not cheap. And one of the things you have to do is run the risk of somebody reinterpreting your vision. So if you're willing to take those risks, then I'd go for it. Me, I like graphic novels just purely on their own. I had some of the early editions of Preacher back when it came out. I grew up loving comic books, kind of having my own comic books. Kind of exciting. And the difference between a graphic novel and a comic book is usually the quality of the paper that it's printed on. A graphic novel is on harder stock. A comic book is more on the newsprint style. They're basically the same thing.